Okay, so the way the study was done, the average follow-up was 130 days at the time of um, data analysis. And the toxicities that were most common were mild toxicities. Severe toxicities, which we call grade three or grade four, were extremely uncommon. And people were not experiencing life-threatening toxicities. The mild toxicities that we call grade one and grade two, the most common one was nausea. And um, which happened in 93% of patients and vomiting in 41. However, in almost all cases, this was actually not caused by the lutetium-177 dotatate, but rather was caused by amino acids that were used to protect the kidneys. And partway through this trial, uh, many of the patients were switched from the initial amino acid mix, which was causing a lot of nausea, to a new amino acid mix containing arginine and lysine, but did not have all the other amino acids, protected the kidneys equally well, but did not cause nausea. So the subsequent experience is much, much less nausea than we had here. But even in this study, the nausea was mild with the standard nausea preventives being used. The other toxicities that were seen, 28% of people had fatigue and about 18% had low platelet count, thrombocytopenia. So those were the major toxicities. Other things were uh, very, very rare. And, in, and severe toxicity was seen in something less than 1% of people. Very, very, very rare just um, to have carcinoid crisis or to have severe vomiting leading to dehydration. That was very, very rare. So we're talking about something in the neighborhood of 0.3%, really rare. 